All right, guys. Let's start this 2020 CVO Road Glide. All right. Oh my goodness, I have never been on one of these. I am a little scared, not gonna lie. So, I'm gonna be honest guys. I don't really know too much about the bike. So I'm, I'm not really gonna do, you know, a lot of specs and, and I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail. I am just gonna give you a personal opinion on this bike as someone that's ridden a lot a lot of bikes and a lot of different bikes um, and so yeah you know if y'all are looking for a lot of specs and stuff I apologize y'all can uh, y'all are just gonna hear a rider's perspective on this bike so Guys, I'm a, I'm gonna be honest. Without a doubt, this is long highway road trips type of bike, not a commuter at all. Um it's very someone that's never ridden one of these it is uh it's it, it's a little difficult it, it, i'm trying to get used to this bike but just give me a second it's, it's my first time on one of these and uh as soon as i get acclimated i'll start giving you a perspective on uh basically everything that i can all right so i'm just gonna start you know the very few things I know about the bike this is very very expensive so if you're if you're looking at this video it's because money is not an option I believe these the CVO lineup is around 40,000 and up something like that it's pretty crazy uh, uh, so I'm just gonna start this tamale right here <laughs> oh wow Damn. dang okay I am I am shocked this is this is actually pretty kick ass wow okay all right all right I was I was you know believe it or not when I first got on this, the first thing I noticed is that it was very top heavy. So I actually had trouble, you know, getting it off the kickstand. And then taking off, oh man, I, not gonna lie, I struggled a little. <laughs> but being on the highway doing highway speeds, wow. Like now I know why I see so many of these and of course they're always you know on the highway I have never felt so comfortable do you know going up you know highway speeds then on this I am shocked guys you know that's one thing that that I'm gonna tell you that I hope you know you want to hear is if you want to go far and be very comfortable it's gonna happen on this bike yeah seating position is so this seat this seat this seat is probably the most comfortable seat I've ever sat on I mean I, I just fit perfectly on this seat the foot pegs it's it's great it's, it's slightly forward not so much upright but very very nice very comfortable 
the engine is very smooth. And I believe this does have the most powerful stock Harley-Davidson engine. But it is a heavy bike, so you know, you got to keep that in mind. This is almost like a party bike. I wish I knew how to uh, turn on the radio. L like I said, I kind of, they kind of just, this bike was available to ride. And so I was like, hey, let me give it a shot. Let me, let me just give you my opinions on it. And uh, yeah, it's like fully loaded. I feel very like, there's so much wind protection. I could go across the country on this. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I only feel wind a little bit like on my helmet. Yeah guys, I, I, I really don't have tons of things to say. You know, you can you can go ahead and find out for yourself. You could read up all the specs and the sound system and the different features that it has. But having an opportunity to take this bike, let me let me just say that it really does suck in slow speeds. I mean, I'm sure you could, you know, get used to it, you know, if you've had it for a while. But this bike really is for the highway. The last thing you want to do is, is you know, be stuck in traffic with this or having a commute, you know, in town doing, yeah, no, this is not going to be for you. I'm, I'm really trying to get this across. You really like, it's got a smooth, uh, smooth engine. Very powerful, of course, but it's actually quite smooth. It's nice. Suspension, real, real nice. I mean, it, it really does glide. Oh my goodness, it's, it's a little. Ah, it sounds awesome. <laughs> ah, these Harleys sound so good. They sound so nice. I'm having fun. Yes. I don't know, guys. I'm thinking of buying this. What do y'all think? I'll write a check right now. How, how, what is it? Forty-four thousand somewhere there. Ah, I like it. I like the way it sounds. I'm gonna buy it just because of the sound. Oh yeah! Oh, not bad for being a stock, stock pipes. Oh, I can do this all day. I want to hear this like all the time. Yeah! Alright, so... I've always wanted to try, you know, one of these. It's a, it's a very interesting. It's a, it's a little difficult in slow speeds. Because it's just so top-heavy. Um, but yeah, if you're... Uh, you know, like I said, I'm not really giving y'all a lot of specs, but... 
boy, if money's no option and uh, you're going to be on the highway a lot, heck yeah, this, this bike is pretty kick-ass, man. I mean, coming from a totally different, you know, lineup of a motorcycle, my BMW XR, if you don't know. Riding this, I mean, I'm actually having a lot of fun. Harleys, man, they just sound awesome. They sound great. That American muscle. What I really wish I could do is fudging. Oh, yeah. Molly. So talking about the dash a little bit. You got your GPS system, which not gonna lie, I just found out. That is freaking dope. If you have the bike in high RPMs, you get to hear this great sounding. It actually leans quite well. But uh, yeah, the only thing that's digital, you, you might be able to say, is uh, the gear indicator. And uh, gear indicator and the odometer. But gosh, this bike is pretty kick ass, man. What type of rider would buy, should buy this bike? Definitely uh, somebody that's willing to ride a big fat check. Because it's a lot of money. Would I buy this bike? Oh no, it, I, I just, I'm not comfortable spending so much on a motorcycle purchase. But there's nothing wrong with that. You've got the money and uh, this is what you want. Like I said, kick-ass engine, GPS, freaking security system, got a freaking awesome sound system tons of wind protection which is the biggest selling point I think you know I really believe people you know if you're looking to buy this bike you're wanting extreme comfort on the highway but where you're also gonna have fun and be able to you know accelerate and all that good stuff right but yeah guys like i said i didn't really go into great detail i just wanted to give you a little opinion my opinion my perspective on this bike i've always wondered how it is and uh it's been without a doubt i've never been so comfortable on the highway but stay away from uh, traffic jams and doing slow speed turns and stuff because it's gonna suck <laughs> yeah all right mr jawline is on please stay tuned i'm excited for my next one i'm gonna give you all a sneak peek right now i'm going i'm gonna go ahead and uh i'm gonna get a chance to ride the new harley davidson live wire so if you're curious oh my gosh all right yep i am yep i'm terrible at slow speeds on this bike Oh, uh, uh, but yeah, stay tuned. Uh, I should be uploading the uh, the live wire video. Uh, 
shortly after this one so if you're curious what the all electric motorcycle can do make sure to hit that subscribe button all right guys ride safe see you on the next Braking on this bike is a little toughy toughy. Hey, have fun on it, man. It's good? Yeah. They should let you ride it. It's got 29% right now. Oh, okay. 20%, so it'll have And I hope. I hope. But he took a longer route that time. Did he? Yeah. It's kind of long, this demo event. Yeah. Usually it's not so long. Have fun. Thank you, man. Was it fast? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just like riding a sport bike. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So walking around the bike. Got your speakers right here, right here. I believe you got four speakers. Black on black. Screaming Eagle, six-speed, 117 great sounding bike very comfortable these foot pegs already comes with some nice um, exhaust for being stock sounds great gearbox is not so rough as like the Sportster 1200 and uh, the LED front lights um, yeah it's just I mean, it's a pretty, it's a real good looking bike. I'll give you that. I really like the color scheme. A lot of black down here. and Oh yeah, this, you know, it's called the Screaming Eagle. It really does scream. 